Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to do an FRP bypass on your Samsung Galaxy A52. You can see the Samsung is already open. There is a video on our channel on how to find the test point and you could watch that if you wanted to um, know where the test point is. The test point are these little two dots that you need to purposely cause a short circuit on in order to put it in EDL mode, which is a communication mode between your computer and the mm, phone and we'll be using a computer for it. Also, you will need a paid software. Um, that software is $29 per a free month access. Um, I think that's a good price, you know, you can't do it for free. So if you can do it f for $29, it's it's cool. <laughs> uh, it's, it's great that it's not more. Uh, we'll be getting to the software part later. Mm, so yeah, you will need your phone in this um, state and we'll be putting it in EDL mode in a moment. Uh, but first, let's get to the computer. Mm, as I said, to find the test point, you can just watch uh, a video on how to find the test point on our channel. Uh, now, mm, let's go to, uh, first of all, uh, the hardreset.info website, our website. Um, and then go to download, click on download here, and then go to Samsung drivers, download them and install them. Once you install them, restart your computer. It is super important that you restart your computer. Now go to FRP, go to this address, hardreset.info slash FRP dash tool dash ranking. And if you'll find Octo plus Samsung, and you'll see all the data. Mm, if you go to Octoplus Samsung, um, then it'll get you to this website. Just go to the newest one. Uh, you can see, just install it. And once you install it, uh, you will be able to... Mm, okay, there's even a newer version released today. Cool. Um, yeah, just get the newest version, activate it, and it looks sort of like this. I'll open it already. Um, <clears throat> and now it is important that you know your phone's model because your model may be a little bit different than mine. Uh, if you have a different version of the phone, you can check your um, model in the, um, in the recovery, I believe. Uh, in the recovery mode, um, it's like, um, in my case, it's SMA, um, let's find it, it's going to be quite difficult. Of course, your phone has to be already reset uh, through the recovery, um, and yeah, let's find it, it's A525F in my case. Um, Right, right, um, as you can see, A525F, but you may have a different one if you have the 5G version, I have the 4G version, uh, and also based on the region, it may be a little bit different, so it's worth checking it in the recovery. Um, yeah, because I, from what I can see, you can't really check it here uh, on the inside of the phone. Um, and now let's put our phone in the mm, EDL mode. So you'll need to get your cable ready. Um, you can see I have my cable ready. Uh, I'll put it on full screen. And uh, it may require several trial trials, so also get ready for it. Mm. <coughs> what you'll need to do is, first of all, remember that in if you're plugging your cable um, into the computer, it shouldn't be plugged in through a dock. It would be the best if you plugged it in on the back of your um, computer. But if you plug it in the, on the front, then make sure that nothing else is plugged into the front of your computer. Um, now let's also go to Device Manager app on my computer and go to Ports. Now you can see I have two devices here. 
and there should be a third one. Oh, you don't see, uh, of course. <laughs> yeah, you can see right here. There should be a third device called Qualcomm something. Most likely, we'll see that. Now let's put the device in EDL mode. So in order to do it, you'll need to unplug the power, unplug the battery, basically, plug it back in, and then join these two little dots together, right here, um, with uh, like something that conducts electricity, like this tool, and then while holding a plug in the USB. It is quite difficult. I will most likely fail uh, during the first trial. Um, but uh, yeah, sometimes it requires even several people to help you with it. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna try off camera. I'm gonna explain it once again. Unplug the battery, plug it back in, then connect these two little dots right here um, and plug in uh, the cable while holding these two dots together with a electrical conductive stuff. Okay, I have put it into the uh, right mode um, because as you can see, it shows up as Qualcomm. So now let's quickly do it. Let's quickly move on with it. I'll explain ev everything later. The correct model is selected, reset FRP, EDL method, proceed. Click on yes. And now you can see it was sent successfully, so it's working. Um, of course, your phone has to be already reset through the recovery. It has to be, um, it has to have that FRP lock. If it doesn't have it, then it won't work. And now you can see it worked and it's turning on already. Um, so that is a great uh, sign. We can unplug, unplug it from the cable if you want already. Um, it should be all working now. I'll just wait a moment until it turns on to see that everything is fine. Um, <clears throat> by the way, um, like, um, remember that this process may take you multiple meth uh, multiple trials and it's best to do it uh, with a magnifying glass or just microscope, whatever. And it's best to do it with a second person because I really was lacking like the third hand, honestly, um, I, because I needed to join these two parts at the same time while holding the phone so it doesn't move. So when I plug in the cable with that third hand, I still don't move these points. And that was my problem. So, um, yeah, you can see it works. Um, that was my problem. So it's best to do it with at least a second person and it's best to also magnify it somehow. Um, so you actually see everything well. Um, the most important part when it comes to FRP is to see if you can skip Wi-Fi. If you can, then it's unlocked. Yes, it is. So um, it all works now. It is fully, fully functional. Uh, I hope that this video was helpful. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.